What's going guys, Zenus here and today in this video of Air of Light, I am presenting to you guys a list of top or the best servants that you can actually take out into the evidence so that you can have a really good advantage out there, okay? Uh, and we, I am not actually gonna discuss about the good servants because like there are so many of them and then like I really don't want to cover them up but I just want to let you know that these are the servants that I've showed in, in you in this list that these servants are really gonna have a very good time when you are going to play in the Abaddon okay so before starting this video guys please do subscribe to my channel and please do consider donating as well now let's get this started guys okay so just by looking into the list we can easily see that this list is really in the favor of DPS servants who can deal the damage based on the enemy's max HP, okay? So that's the thing right out there because like uh, as the Abaddon uh, stages keeps on uh, increasing in the level of its difficulty, you are really gonna uh, face the opponents with very very high HP guys and then like that's actually gonna be a really big problem to you guys and in that case of situation this kind of DPS servants who can actually uh, deal a lot of damage based on the enemy's max HP gonna be a very good composition of your team okay because like they can really deal a massive amount of damage even in such cases okay so finally this type of servants who really did not find any good place in the other aspect of the game like let's say PvP contents and now they are actually becoming the main highlight of the Abaddon okay so that's the thing right out here guys okay so really a good cheers for them now let's get this started with the B tier okay so he's right over here just for the honorary mention because he is a four star net uh, servant and then like if you are a beginner and then you really want to make a really good uh, Abaddon team and then like you are not having a really good uh, five star net unit then in this case of scenario water Eno can actually be a really good part of your team because he actually deals the damage based on the enemy's max HP okay <laughs> that's why he is here really good damage output and then you can actually do him okay he's like a studio five star net servant and he has a really good high multiplier on his uh, uh combo skill as well that makes him a really good pick for it as well okay um as being a or let's say being cursed as a four star net servant he doesn't have a transcendence potential unlock that's why like you know most of the abilities that you might want to uh enjoy okay might not actually be unlocked with the four star net unit and that's why he's stuck in the btl list let's see what's going to be happening in the near future uh, now let's move on to the A tier list guys, okay? So, uh, let's start with the Forest Sphinx guys. Well, she is right out here just for one reason because she can revive all the dead allies at a time, okay? That is a very unique skill indeed among all the RBG servants. She is the only one that can revive all the dead allies and the rest of them are like uh, only LD units, light and dark units who can actually revive all the dead allies, okay? Among the RBG units or let's say forest water fire units, normal elemental units, she is the only one that can revive all the allies, okay? And that can actually give you a huge advantage especially if you are taken down by aoe damage okay in that case of scenario uh, uh, uh forest springs is really gonna be great especially if you are gonna fight against the uh dps servant who can deal like aoe damage like let's say water rim okay in that kind of case you are really gonna need a, a really good servant like her and now let's move on to the next one that is our forest halo well she is a type of healer that cannot actually revive but she has so many utilities with her that actually makes her so good okay first of all guys with her ultimate skill what's gonna happen like she can actually heal the entire team first thing so you can remove all the debuff from the uh, allies that is really great cleanse and she so can dispel all the buffs from the opponents so good right so good right over there and with her fast skill she can also break the defense of the opponents like wow that's a really good utility that you are having okay so really great unit indeed okay now Let's move on to the next one that is our Forest Mildred. Well, Forest Mildred is right over here just for really that one really good reason for her combo skill, guys. <laughs> well, well, with her combo skills, she can actually cast a revive block on the units. I mean, like, as you already know, in Avatar, we have to face up to two units, right? And especially if th among those two units, one starts to become a healer, things are gonna be very very bad guys okay even though you finally managed to somehow manage to kill this first unit a healer will just come by and she will revive that freaking dead unit okay <laughs> and healing him to the max and that can actually give you a very very huge disadvantage okay in that case of scenario what are you actually gonna do <laughs> 
you have to make sure that they won't actually come back to life that's why revive block is gonna be a very important uh, factor in the Abaddon, okay, and she actually provides that one. That's why she's here. Even though with her passive skill as well, she also provides a lot of uh, stuff right out there. Uh, she can make your entire team uh, immune to any sort of skill gauge reduction, and she will also not allow any enemy team to have skill gauge boost. Okay, that will really make sure that like you are having a very good fair game in terms of the speed stat. And now let's move on with the next one. That is our water a letter. Okay, so she is a definitely really good servant that has been really ignored or very much underrated <laughs> in Air of Light. This is really amazing unit guys first of all she can really slow down the opponents with the speed debuff and then uh, uh, decreasing their skill gauges so many things right out there and she can actually uh, boost up your entire team by providing a lot of attack stats uh, attack boost okay buffs and then the defense buffs so she is pretty amazing and insane guys okay i mean like <laughs> she is really really good okay and uh, she also has a really good passive skill that provides her a really good chance to uh, recover her active skills right away as soon as she spams them okay so really good unit very fast unit and she can channel her skills really fast and makes the opponent really really slow down okay so that's the thing that you can get with the water a letter the next one is the uh, ignore defense based DPS servant. Yes, some of the ignore defense based DPS servants are here in the list as well because of the particular set of skills that makes them so fearful. <laughs> okay, so uh, we have the Water Isabel right over here. Even though he's a very old unit, his skill sets are pretty much a current meta. Okay, they are pretty much a current meta. Okay, uh, he uh, has a multiplier of 2772, I guess, uh, times his skill multiplier, uh, you know, his attack multiplier and his combo hit skill, which is pretty great. And with his passive skill, guys, he can boost his damage up to 30%, which is so good, guys. Too much damage output that you just cannot, you know, like miss it out. Okay, very great unit indeed. Let's move on to the next one. That is our Water Christine. Okay, Water Christine is here. Obviously, she is also a current meta of Ignore Defense DPS Seven. But for the main reason, she can cast a revive block with her passive skill, guys. Okay, so that's why she is here. Uh, I mean, like, she will actually make sure the opponent that goes down will go down. <laughs> they won't come back. They won't be coming back, haunting you guys. Okay, so uh, Water Christine is right over there. Revive block guys. Revive block is very very important indeed. And the next one is our Forest Caesar. Okay, well he's a really good tank. Okay, a really great against ignore defense DPS servants. And guess what guys? He can also provide a lot of glancing hit rate to the entire team with his uh, with his ultimate skill or let's say combo skill. That makes him a really really great uh, pick as a tank if you really want to go uh, on par on par with the Abaddon hard stages okay and also at the same time guys Caesar is a anomalous okay or he's an anomaly <laughs> amongst all the servants because he has a tremendous amount of HP pool guys he's an HP based tank and if you can really give him a lot of HP boost oh my god he is actually gonna be so hard to be taken down okay keep that in mind the next one now we have the water Caesar. Well, he is a healer. He's not a tank. But what's gonna happen is that like he can heal really nice. He can revive. And the best thing is that like with his passive skill, he can also remove the resilience from the opponent. That is gonna actually give you a really good advantage against some particular stages in the Abaddon. And then like you can just breeze through it by. Okay. I'm like trying to really uh, cripple out the opponents. Okay. From any sort of like debuffs that can make them really, really, really stubborn is very very much needed and essential in this game guys and water Caesar has actually been able to provide that one being able to strip off the resilience debuff is just a uh, resilience buff is just very unique guys okay and not any other servant out in the game has it I guess even the LD units no they don't have it okay so that's the thing you are actually gonna get with the water Caesar now let's move on with the water Arya okay Water Arya, well, she's pretty great, guys. I mean, like, uh, all the water, all the Arias are really good at providing the revive blocks. Let me check out. 
Oops, sorry about that. Not all area, only the fire area is really capable of casting that revive block, which we are actually gonna discuss a little bit later. YC is so OP. And now, uh, the thing is that like the forest area and the water area are pretty much same. They have nearly the same copy paste stuff, okay? Except for the case is that like they have different elements and water area is gonna be immune to attack debuffs, attack down debuffs, and the uh, forest area is gonna be immune to uh, skill gauge reduction all right and the best thing that they actually do provide in this game is that like they have freezing effect okay with the, with their second skill and their combo skill they are actually gonna make sure that the opponent are gonna be in the frozen status in the frozen status what's gonna happen is that like not only the opponent are unable to move or like use any sort of like skills even their like skill gaze are gonna be frozen, meaning like even their speeds are very, you know, like how to say it's 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 it's, it's stopped. Okay, they are totally stopped. It's like a, it's like it's like stopping the time for them. Okay, that's the thing right out there, and it actually is very 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 advantageous. And within that period, guys, the frozen effect, they are actually also gonna ignore the 40% of their defense, guys. So it actually excels a lot of damage output at that point as well, and that actually makes them really really amazing, guys. They yes, they are a single target nuker and. Uh, among the rest of the other uh, single target nuking uh, DPS 7, they actually provi provide some really good interesting uh, utilities of freezing effect that makes them really good choice for the Abaddon, okay? Now let's move on to the S tier list, guys. Let's start with the Forest Heat. <laughs> First hit is really amazing guys, I mean like, well he's a max SP based, uh, you know, enemies max SP based DPS servant, okay, so yes, he's really meant to be the S tier, he will really provide you with a lot of like, um, uh, attack damage output, okay, and on top of that one guys, what's gonna happen with the first hit is that like, he is actually gonna have a AOE damage in his ultimate skill as well, that makes him even better, okay, so let's, Look at this situation guys, somehow, sometime, if you really do not manage to kill uh, a uh, unit, okay, the first unit within the uh, within the dedicated time or I think within the one minute mark, what's gonna happen? The another unit is gonna come by, right? So you have to fight against two opponents at a time. Now that is gonna be a big problem. And guess what guys, Forest Heat is actually gonna make sure that the damage will actually hit those two units at a time okay at the same time simultaneously okay so now that's really great okay so he can actually one shot two of them right away and that can actually give you a really good boost okay both of them will get really hurt bad with the forest hit that's why he's even better okay <laughs> if there was an ss tier i would put him there okay aoe damage max hp based dps 7 really good now let's move on to the next one that is our forest sinistra she's a single target nuker and uh, she has like she also deals the damage based on the enemy's max hp so she is right here and then like obviously she gets a lot of critical damage boost that makes her damage output ah, freaking insane okay the next one is our forest valkyrza well she's a ignore defense based dps 7 now what actually makes her so special or so unique is that like her multiplier okay her combo skill attack multiplier is just too freaking insane it's one of the most unique out there in the entire game uh only the dark carmilla has the same type of multiplier that is 3600 percentage uh attack stat multiplier guys that is just insane because like even for the current meta of the ignore defense dps 7 it is only about 2772 2772 percent is right <laughs> and now for the forest valkyrza her skill multiplier is 3600 plus okay that is insane okay that's it's insane She's really, she's definitely one of the really good pick that you can actually bring out here. If she can actually be tagged along with the light Halel, she is unstoppable. Uh, the next one is the uh, Forest Lucrecia. Well, she is really amazing as well. Uh, well, uh, none of the other Lucrecia are here. So what is the main thing that she actually provides compared to any other Lucrecia out there that she is right here in the S tier and none of the fire and the water Lucrecia are out here. So what's the what's the secret behind that one? See here guys, okay? It's her passive skill, <laughs> okay? Yes, she is an amazing tank. If you are actually gonna talk about the tanks, Forest Lucre is, Lucrecia is one of the amazing tank out there. But what extra does she provide in the Abaddon? Guys, okay? 
what's gonna happen is that like if there is any sort of like support uh, opponent okay a support class opponent then she is actually gonna match her speed to that of the or let's say like she is gonna uh, copy her speed to that opponent okay meaning like let's say her speed is only about like 100 okay and let's say the support opponent on the other hand other side or on the enemy side has like 300 speed now she is gonna match their speed to hers okay so that means like what's gonna happen the opponent support servant is also gonna have a 100 speed even though his basic speed or his main speed is supposed to be like 300 she is gonna match it up and uh, and the support servant of the opponent is gonna have 100 speed effectively effectively crippling them down effectively uh, you know like making them really slow because support class units really need to be very very fast in order to be very effective in the game okay if they are very slow oh well they will bite the dust okay <laughs> so that's the thing right out there and you guys have already noticed that in the Aberon, you know the statue right out there or let's see the monument okay uh, the one that is just you know like being like there <laughs> around there that guy really does a lot of things okay he can actually channel out a lot of damage output he can also channel out a lot of support skills to the servant and he can also release a sort of like you know like a blast and makes a lot of damage uh ma make your team uh, intake a lot of damage and that is gonna be so 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 bad right and if you can just decrease his skill and make sure that that guy right over there that statue won't be actually able to and uh, you know uh cost a lot of skills here and there and then that is gonna be so great so it is a pretty much technical stuff <laughs> okay so anyways forest to lucrecia is gonna be really one of the best uh uh tank that you can actually take into the abaddon making her really really effective guys okay the next one right over here is the Forest Christine, okay? Forest Christine is really, really amazing, especially thanks to the latest or recent update that has really uh, uh, came to the Air of Light, guys. She has now got her attack boosted by 100% in the Abaddon reasons, thanks to her passive skill, guys, okay? 100% extra attack right away as soon as she enters the Abaddon, like wow that's crazy that's insane okay that's the thing right out there amazing amazing unit right out there guys she's really good now the next thing is our water illusion well uh, just a cliche she is a ma enemy's max hp base dps 7 and she can actually dish out a lot of damage and that's all there is to it guys uh the same goes with the fire letter as well she can also really deal a very nice insane damage output in the abaddon okay even though the opponent has a really high 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 hp okay you are still gonna get them to the ground in no time uh that's that's how it is and the next one is the Water Halel, well, 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 Water Halel, very amazing unit indeed, guys, because of her shield, well, 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 guys, okay, if she can actually just uh, provide a shield to the entire allies based on her max HP, and then, like, and if the enemy's combo skill is gonna hit her, uh, she is actually gonna decrease the damage incoming from the combo skill by up to 80%, not only that, guys, in the Abaddon, the silencing is very, very important. Okay, this, if you are if you are able to uh, silence the opponents, it is actually gonna work in your favor. Okay, especially like during the if, uh, against the healers. Okay, uh, against any type of like support uh, units that can actually cast out a lot of like supporting skills. Uh, if you can actually just silence them things are gonna go really by your side okay she actually buys the time so that like you can actually have the upper hand against the opponents okay and now let's move on to the next one that is fire halal well she's an enemy's max hp based dps 7 that's all there is to it nothing really much further okay now we have the water and the forest bastion both of them are enemy's max hp based dps 7 but in case of this one guys the forest bastion is really amazing provided that with Thanks to a passive skill, she starts with 100% crit rate. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? So you can really build her gears uh, focusing only on the critical damage and attack stats boost, right? In that case of scenario, guys, she is actually going to be so freakingly damn amazing plus really, 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 really hard hitter, okay? That's the forest bastille for you guys, okay? And uh, all of the Bastille right out here, Fire, Water and Forest Bastille really deals the damage based on the enemy's max SP. So they are in the S tier list, but among all those Bastille, the water, uh, the Forest Bastille is the best, okay? As C already gets a 100% critical rate boost 
from the very beginning of the battle and that makes her so 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 insanely good okay uh, allowing you guys to actually uh, have more advantages or let's say having more uh, breathing space in creating a very offensive type of gear builds and now let's move on to our final 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 contender if you actually have this unit the things in abaddon is gonna be so amazing and easy guys easy 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 all right you know what <laughs> obviously she has a revive block okay first of all now it's not any sort of revive block right out there guys she can cast revive block on any time whenever she is using any of her skills Whenever she's casting a first skill, second skill, or even her combo skill, guys, she is actually gonna cast that revive block, which is <laughs> mind blowing, guys. Like, let's say for Water Christine, okay? She has to use her. Uh, I think. I, I think she has to kill up, kill the opponents. Okay, that's the thing right out there. Okay, I mean, like it doesn't happen like from time to time. And thing is that like, wh who are the other one who can do the revive block right over here? Like, let's say for the forest Mildred guys, what's gonna happen? Is that like uh, she can only uh, do the revive block with her co um, combo skill? That's all there is to it. Okay, but for the fire Arya, she can revive block anytime she uses her skills, any of her skills. First skill, second skill, and combo skill. That makes her so versatile, so flexible, so amazing, okay? And on top of that one, guys, she can also freeze with her second skill and her ultimate skill, guys, okay? Or her combo skill. And that also uh, cripples down the opponent really, really nicely. She is really out there to cripple out the opponent, making them devoid of so many things and really making them freeze all the time. That gives your team a very good, very, very good advantage against the opponents, guys. If the opponent actually cannot do anything most of the time, then what's the... <laughs> what's the problem right out there like let's say even on the top of that one if you somehow like gear her with gear or her up with the petrify gears just think about the possibilities guys gear her up with the petrify gear and she is actually going to be a really good disabler really good crippler one of the best crippler out, crippler out there in the game that you can actually achieve okay that's the thing that you are, you can get with her. So, this is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contents of my channel. And see you guys in the next video.